Welcome to TDS Online Math. Okay, in my previous video, I made mistake when trying to express this as difference of two squares. So let's do the correction. Okay, so we have x to the power six equals x squared solution. So let me write this one as x to the power six minus x squared equals zero now i want to express this one as difference of two squares so when i have x squared minus y squared the same as x plus y x minus y now we have squared here but this side is not squared so let me change this one to s cube or squared now, when we have a to the power n or square, the same as a to the power 2n. So, this side is the same as that. So, minus x squared equal to 0. Okay. So, remember that this one is difference of two squares. So, if this side is a, this side is a squared and this side is b squared it's a plus b a minus b so in order not to get confused let's call s cube a and then x as b so my next step will be s cube minus x s cube minus x and plus x equals to zero okay so let's observe the z product here so we have s cube minus x equals zero or s cube plus x equals zero all right so from here we can factorize we are dealing with this one so let's take x out that make this side x squared minus one go to zero remember we can still write this one as difference of two squares so we have x so x squared minus one is the same as x plus one x minus one go to zero so it means x x plus one x minus one equal to zero so x equal to zero is the first answer and x plus one equal to zero and x minus one equal to zero so we have x equal to zero x equals minus one okay and x equals to one so that's that now let's look at the other side s cube plus x equals to zero s cube plus x equals to zero so we can take x out here that will be x squared plus one equal to zero okay remember this one cannot be expressed as difference of two squares so we can say that x equals zero or x squared plus one equal to zero so from here x squared plus one equal to zero x squared is the same as negative one so x squared equals minus one we can take square root on both sides so this one will be complex plus or minus but remember square root of negative one is same as i so my x will be plus or minus i as that so this side will be complex 
through the solutions are x equal to zero, x equals minus one, and s equals one, and s equals plus or minus i. So that's that. Okay. So thanks for watching.